It's absolutely inconceivable. Um, if that case law, every American in America should be concerned because what that does is set case law, and that's how they determine their rulings. It sets precedence so they can end up actually. He had no hearing. They put him into receivership with no hearing. Uh, took his property, seized his bank accounts, and he's basically a prisoner of the house. And that occurred right a few blocks over in downtown Dallas in, in the, the federal building. In the federal building, yes. So the is it the same building that Jernigan? Yes, the same building, Stacy Jernigan. Also. Interesting. And interesting enough is that Stacy Jernigan is now the bankruptcy judge in Jeff Barron's case for <laughs> illegal dealings or orders that Judge Ferguson said they joined forces and ba basically are bankrupt in Jeff Barron. Do you know if Jeff, I mean, as Jeff's uh, honest former business partner, uh, do you know what he says about any of this? Uh, oh, it's you... total corruption. Absolutely. And it's not just what Jeff says. If you go on pace and read it, you can follow it all. Again, never in the history of the United States have ever put a human being in the receipt. Lawinjustice.com, too. Lawinjustice.com has been following this case very, very frequently. And uh, World Net Daily, it just got picked up by World Net Daily. Uh, Jeff Barron's case did. So it went national, uh, national media attention. Because Ferguson it was a uh, Clinton appointee. And uh, I don't know who's picked Jernigan. But it uh, seems like we need... Uh, some accountability with these federal judges here in Dallas, Texas. You know, everyone keeps saying that the Ninth Circuit is the most liberal in San Francisco, but yet maybe this Dallas court uh, building is the most unaccountable. Well, I was warned years ago, I had no dealings whatsoever with the bankruptcy court, but I was warned that the most corrupt bankruptcy court in America was the Northern District of Texas. And after what we went through for seven years, if it all confirmed, I, I concur full-heartedly that that's absolutely positive the worst experience we've ever been through. They stole my mother's golden years and lost lots of property when I'm terrorized, held a gunpoint, a property taken. And then let me not let me give due due accountability for the corrupt, evil district judge Bob Carroll in Ellis County. And that's where all this dirty, nasty, evil corruption started out in County Court of Law Number One. He was asked to step down by the State Commission on Judicial Conduct. Then he had the audacity to run for the 40th district judge. Uh, one last thing here. Critics like Alfred Davis will say that uh, you are eventually going to cost taxpayers a lot of money because you keep fighting the system. And uh, if they do have to pay you in a settlement, that's going to be a lot of taxpayer dollars that are, are wasted. What do you say to something like that? Well, obviously, for starter's sake, a crime against an elderly woman, we pay tons of taxes. Um, and it's not just taxpayer dollars. What, ha what needs to happen is these crooked, illegal judges, corrupt judges, need to be thrown off the bench so they're not, so the taxpayers aren't held accountable for their ill deeds and evil actions. All right, sounds good. And uh, Joey Dobbin here again, out, back outside of uh, Dallas City Hall, occupied Dallas tent city over here. Uh, quite a bit of them. A lot of news trucks. It's going to be a good night.